Okay, world, um, this video is about um, how to properly size a uh, the SUPCO uh, 3-in-1 relay kits. Um, this is a RCO 210 kit here. Um, it is rated uh, for a third to a half horse compressor. So as you'll see here, with a rated load amps of 13.3 amps. <clears throat> Uh, maximum continuous RLA 13.3 get a little better on that um, house horsepower rating uh, up to a half a horsepower <clears throat> your amps are what you should be looking at always this kit is called uh, RCO 210 kit says half horse on the packaging <clears throat> I've used them for over 20 years and uh, they work very well if you size your uh, kits to the compressor RLA um, This kit right here the 410 kit says on the package uh, for a quarter horse to a third horse um, They will I only uh, I, I never use the 410 kit the 410 kit as you can see here uh, uses the exact same uh, capacitor in its kit as let me see the uh, 210 there's a 210 kit right here and you'll see it uses the 243 to 292 capacitor with a, a RLA of 13 point a maximum continuous current of 13.3 uh, but if I go you'll see it's there's your 410 kit up here exact same capacitor is used in the 410 kit as the 210 kit but the overload is larger and the uh, internals on the on the R210 kit is heavier duty to handle up to 13.3 amps <clears throat> okay um, so basically how I size them is you have to size them by amps a maximum rla is 6.8 amps so most likely i saw this video um from hvacr videos and right here um fired up he, this is a uh, third horse compressor that he is using that is in this unit and that's an incorrect statement that's an AEA 4440 compressor and he said the amps are too high um, that AEA 44 compressor there's your AEA 44 YX Condensing unit a third horse. So if he selected the start kit based on the start kit the 410 kit Says that it's rated to a third horse, but you in this case you would have to use the 210 kit because As you can see an AEA 4440 condensing unit 115 volt and you go down your minimum circuit opacity is nine and a half, but you go down to your compressor, use the AEA 4440YXA, which is what is in Chris's video, but your RLA on that compressor is 7.2 RLA, which exceeds your 410 kit, which that 410 kit set is quarter to a third horse, but you have to size your SUPCO kits by amps. Um, I always use the next size up kit um, if it says it's a quarter to a third, I, I always just use the 210 kit on most, on everything. Um, and it works wonderful. I've been doing it for years and never had a problem in 10 years of, uh, put, I put them on like candy. Um, they work awesome, the 210 kits. <clears throat> um, so I just wanted to mention that because as you'll see here, um, I think at uh, about 126 or something here. Let me see. 
this you can see in the video. See if I can catch it. That's an AEA 4440 compressor. Uh, condenser had a nice filter <clears throat> on it, but it's actually pretty. And um, most likely, what happened when he's saying "dang" here? Right. <clears throat> this is why we let it run for a bit. Uh, the compressor's locked up. No current draw. We've got voltage. That's running anymore. So it's locked up. So we're gonna end up doing it. That's an incorrect statement, also, because your compressor needs to draw current. Uh, it's most likely the kit quit. The kit opened up. A locked up compressor will show you. You want to see lock rotor amps. So you want to see. Uh, six to seven times your running load amps uh which is like it says here on the tecumseh sheet uh you're looking at 32 amps rock lock rotor so i just wanted to bring this up to some people for uh sizing your kits uh the kit right here that says it's good for quarter to a third horse like i said um that kit's only good for 6.8 amps um on see this is good for uh, the packaging on it only says a half horsepower but they're actually i use them on a third and a half all 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 the time and they work great like i said this one's good for 13 amps which will i don't know if he used this kit i'm i don't know if he used this kit or not on that but i just thought it was worth mentioning um, that 7.2 amps is what he was reading 7 to 7.2 amps and that's not high amps for that particular compressor as you'll see the AEA 4440 <clears throat> so that's probably why he's got a few 25 dislikes here um, and probably why uh, quite a few people uh, this guy Rafael Gomez uh, pointed this out here uh, so it's just an important thing to it's very important if don't go by the horsepower like when you're sizing condensing units you HVAC guys um, you know that you don't size the motor just by horsepower you size it by the amps so same here uh, so anyways just wanted to mention that um, okay so it was uh, yeah so I'm thinking he, he possibly used a. Uh, Let's see what happens. We're gonna also clean up that condenser for him. Trying to. Let's see. Fired up. Let's see. That's the end. So it. Uh, Coming back. We've got a hot discharge line. Don't stick your hand in the condenser. And here he had all good. And a warm. Liquid drain. All good. Uh, condenser. I'm displacing heat. Um, all good signs here it's still gonna take so this case right may have been I'm watch it for a bit and then I'll probably end up uh, ordering the starting components and then okay so anyways um Okay, so to reiterate, we've got an AEA 4440. Um, condenser had a nice filter on it. And. 7 amps. It's awfully high, man. Let it run for a little bit and see what happens. We're going to also clean up that condenser for him. Trying to eliminate the mess. I've got it sitting in a pan. Give it a good rinse with hot water first, then I'll get some coil cleaner on there. It's not okay, so. Right. Seven amps. Ooh, it's awfully high, man. Okay, so that's a little bit and see what happens. We're gonna also clean up that condenser for him. That's an incorrect statement. Uh that those amps were co are correct for that particular compressor. Hot discharge line, don't stick your hand in the condenser fan with a Chris. Okay. And a warm so liquid drain coming out the condenser. So, so all this looked heat. good. Um this is locked up. No current draw, we've got voltage. It's not running anymore. 
so it's locked up. So we're going to end up doing a compressor replacement. Okay. And, uh, That's we'll an in incorrect uh, statement, no possibly. We'll probably. Uh, most likely, that was a failure of the start kit uh, opening up. Um, don't know what size kit. I'm guessing he sized it just by uh, the kit says a quarter to a third horse on a 410 kit. So I can't read uh, the model number of the kit here. I don't know if it's a 410 or a 210 kit. But um, you want to draw your lock rotor amps, at least see that for a bit. Um, no current tells you that it's uh, an internal overload uh, may be opening up or the uh, kit uh, is opening up itself. Locked up. It's not running anymore. Okay, uh, this is information on where you can where you can get the information for these SUPCO kits. Uh, go to SUPCO.com and uh, just go over here to commercial refrigeration and you can go over to refrigeration relays click on that go to your RCO series kits right here and you'll see all the different kits they offer the 410 the 220 kits are 220 volt uh, you'll see 230 volt kits uh, 410 kit number with the 10 on the end of it is 115 volt and uh, the, with a 20 on the end is a 208 volt or 230 volt and how I size them there's an easy way to see is RCO like a 410 kit the four think of that as quarter horse up to up to a quarter horse compressor and like an 810 kit is up to an eighth of a horsepower uh, compressor and then go to the next page and uh, you see the 210 kit that's up to a half horse so just so the two put a one slash in front of it and and then uh, if you wanted a 230 volt like a half horse 230 volt kit that second number would be a 20 so you'd look for a 220 uh, kit so that's how you read the sub uh, subco numbers so if you wanted a 220 kit, you go here, there you go, a third to a half horse, 230 volt, and uh, okay, so that's how you use this. Uh, Subco website is very helpful. Um, you go to commercial refrigeration, go to cap tubing, and they got some really good information here. There's all your cap tube sizes, which is pretty cool. If you want to select the cap tube, there you go. Okay, um, so that's subco, subco.com. Use that. Um, there's your information on a 410 kit. Okay, we already got that. So let me see if I got the 810 kit or. Oh, let me see. I got subco 810 kit. 810 kit. Is good for uh, let's see only four amps so you got to be very careful which kit you select so uh, also frequently asked questions uh, can a three-in-one be installed permanently yes I've done it they last five six years or more um, a few times I've even been back and you know five six years later and just put a new kit on it and compressor still goes you know just kit wears out um, so they last for a long time though the RC2 oh, the 210 kits uh, it's really not worth it to uh, go to all the extra trouble of uh, putting original start components on uh, if it was, I'd be doing it. I've been doing this. It'll be 40 years next March. And uh, I don't do things that don't work well. Um, I like my life to be as easy as possible. And as stressful 
less stress, least stress as possible. So if I was having problems with them, I'd be putting original components on uh, all the time. Uh, but it just, I don't, I don't have any problems with them. Um, and um, uh, Chris at HVACR videos, I don't know, I don't even believe that this guy, he uses them. Um, so I don't know how he would have any reference point uh, that they're compressor killers and that they don't work good if you don't try them. Uh, I don't, I don't even know if he's tried them. Um, so anyhow, uh, so that's all I have to say about, uh, that, um, and the kits. Just be careful how you size them. You must size them by amps. And, uh, okay, so that's about it. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, please click like on the video and subscribe. And remember to size your kits by the amps, not what it says on the package for horsepower. Uh, thanks for watching. Click like on the video. Thanks.